The United States has revoked the visa for the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, her office said Friday, over a possible investigation of American soldiers' actions in Afghanistan. Here's a summary of the article. The United States has revoked the visa for the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, her office said Friday, over a possible investigation of American soldiers' actions in Afghanistan. The move against Bensouda, a Gambian national, comes weeks after U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo announced restrictions on ICC staff who probe U.S. or Allied personnel. What we can confirm is that the U.S. authorities have revoked the prosecutor's visa for entry into the U.S., the Office of the Prosecutor of the ICC said in a statement. Ben Suda asked ICC judges in November 2017 for authorization to open an investigation into alleged war crimes in Afghanistan by the Taliban, Afghan government forces and international forces including U.S. troops. The administration of U.S. President Donald Trump has struck preemptively, with Pompeo warning on March 15 that the ICC was «attacking America's rule of law». Pompeo said he was «announcing a policy of U.S. visa restrictions on those individuals directly responsible for any ICC investigation of U.S. personnel. If you're responsible for the proposed ICC investigation of U.S. personnel in connection with the situation in Afghanistan you should not assume that you still have, or will get, a visa or that you will permitted to enter the United States, Pompeo added. This post received a score of 6,863, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Remember that thread a few hours ago about Japan and their big celebratory ear and nose shrine? How everyone posting in that thread abhors the way countries whitewash their past sins and pretend that they never happened and try to rewrite history books and stuff? Me neither. You'd be surprised how angry people get when you suggest America is not perfect and can do better. In before, love it or leave it. Fuck you, how about I love it and try to change it for the better? I love America more than any other country in the world, and, exactly for this reason, I insist on the right to criticize her perpetually, James Baldwin. People forget the second part of, my country, right or wrong, which is, if right to be kept right, if wrong to be set right. We said we didn't do it, so you shouldn't investigate it. As a Dutchman, the behavior of the American government regarding stuff like this reminds me a lot of how the Russian government behaved in the wake of the downing of MH17. We definitely didn't do anything wrong, we're innocent and had nothing to do with it, and we'll do everything we can in an attempt to stop you from being able to investigate it. I'm pretty sad to be an American during the last few years. It seems any level of corruption we had before got massively magnified and expanded on itself. At least as far as stuff like this story is concerned, your government has been like this for a lot longer than just the last few years. How long ago was it now that they passed the, the Hague Invasion Act, that authorizes the U.S. Army to invade my country if the ICC ever tried to prosecute an American soldier? The ICC isn't even a Dutch court, it's an international court that we were chosen to host. You're right about that 100%, but I think it's finally starting to hit most Americans that it's really like this. We've never had so many government fears until the last few years. It's been American policy for decades that none of its soldiers end up in The Hague for war crimes, even when something like the My Lai massacre took place in Vietnam. Oh, and the highest-ranking officer charged with that crime only had to serve three years of house arrest, and then later was given an official exoneration for his part in the role. As ever the rank and file got much harsher punishments, but even so, it was nowhere near the punishment they'd have gotten in The Hague for the killing of over 500 civilians. He didn't receive recognition for going up against the entire U.S. Army system for decades afterwards. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.